Hey YouTube, just wanted to share this with you, give you a look at it. Uh, this is a first aid kit that I actually got it for free. It was a company that my wife was involved with and they were going out of business and uh, they were just giving away a lot of stuff and she saw this pack and just happened to grab it on you know, first come first serve type basis. As you can see, it's a really nice pack, but I unpacked it just to go through it. I uh, figured you might want to take a look at some of the stuff that came in it. Uh, it's a pretty good deal being able, you know, that I got it for free. So we'll just kind of go through it real quick and take a look at it while I repack it, and then we'll take a look at the pack. Uh, came with some uh, dressing here. Make sure you can see that. It's got some first aid dressing very large type dressing uh, have some cold relief you know rapid cold pack A triangular bandage and I'm kind of putting these back into the same pockets they came out of uh, I'd call these tongue suppressors I guess you could use them to uh, actually make a finger splint instead of using it as a depressor Looks like we have a roll of gauze and a set of scissors. One thing that was with this pack, there was no shortage of scissors, there were two or three pair of them anyway. Put that one back in the front pouch, lift that one up, and we'll go to the next one. These zippers are pretty easy, they got the paracord on, easy access go pretty easy back and forth okay in this middle pocket uh, see they have uh, lots and lots of various types of you know like uh, prep pads uh, alcohol pads I mean there was lots of them in there uh, just alcohol uh, pads and stuff in here let's see some gauze tape put that in last uh, some different pain relief, triple antibiotic ointment, and uh, some pain relief medication that came with it. Let's see. Oh, some burn gel. Some more first aid ointment. Let's see, we'll put these little swabs of stuff back in here. Let's see what this is. I guess that would actually, it's just a first aid active ingredient is a big word, just say that. And some more pain relief pills. Just like some more gauze patches. Oh, an eye patch. Large amount of band-aids that came with it. Syringe, uh, probably be used for irrigation, wound irrigation. That's what I'm going to assume that's for. That would actually make sense. And there's a large bottle of water for irrigation. But throw that back in there. Pill bottle. Be used, I guess, if you wanted to carry some extra medication with you. Say you had to open one of these and you only took half of it, I guess you could put the other dose in there and keep it safe. Keep it from you know, getting dirty or anything. There's a set of tweezers came with it. Some chapstick. Even come with a set of you know, locking, I guess you call it hemostats. Another roll of gauze. Oh no, I'd say this thing's pretty well loaded for the occasion. You know? And the bar of soap. Can't go wrong with soap. And in the back one there, so 
latex free bandage, a rather large bandage, come in handy for larger wounds. Mm, let's see. Extra absorbent pads, quite a few of those that came with it. Like I said, it came with some sterile water for irrigation purposes. Oh, okay. This is uh, used to make a splint. You know, it's a, a bendable material that'll stay in just about any way. That way, if you have to bandage your arms, they, you know, you could roll it up and keep your fingers in a certain spot. You know, keep your arm brace straight. That's a pretty, pretty nice to come with that. Come in handy. Hopefully, I don't have to use it, <laughs> but in case it's there if you need it. Like got some cover sponges, combine dressings, let's see, oh it looks like we have a finger splint as well that came with it, come in handy, nice to have for smaller Injuries, lots of gloves. I'll put this cold pack in the back here. Like that. Another set of scissors. I guess you know I can say that I was uh, prepared for most minor injuries or accidents that may happen. This part of the bag uh, flips up inside cover folds back over the top. The material it's made out of is really heavy. Uh, the inside appears to be waterproof. That upper cover would keep a lot of the moisture out if it got caught up in the rain. I'm going to keep this in my, my car. That way I have it on the road for, you know, you never notice. Anything can go wrong in a car, have an accident, end up in a ditch, you know, bad weather, anything. Be nice to be prepared for that kind of situation. Has a carry handle as well as a shoulder strap, and it's got some Molly webbing on the back. Uh, I guess you could use that, you know, if you wanted to hook this to the back of a larger pack if you were going, you know, maybe hiking for the day or on a camping trip or whatnot. You know, you could just put this right to the bottom of your your pack and just carry it right along the bottom. Um, well, you know, for being a free item, I don't think uh, it went too bad. I'm not going to complain about it. I think she did a good job. But anyway, if you have any suggestions or questions, feel free to ask, leave a comment, and let me know what you think.